You're watching Lifetime Television. to go where few women have been before. That's right. Today she's going to take another step in that voyage and share with us her latest adventures in seeking out new frontiers. Take a look at this. It's, it's more like remembering an emotion. Feelings that you're somehow associated with. I hope they're good feelings. Yes, they are. This entire situation is a little bit unnerving. It's been a long day. We've all been through a lot. We certainly have. Please welcome everybody the USS Enterprise's resident psychologist, Marina Sirtis. this world honey um, mm -hmm. think, was it was it the short skirt was that was that what did it i don't know it what was great Thank what you. was jay leno looking at on you oh yeah uh, well, jay leno this, was looking uh... a bit further up <laughs> <laughs> this is while you were on show yeah, for about 10 seconds it was very funny he was transfixed by my cleavage and uh, i just kept on talking i didn't know what to say i know what you're doing jay leno's looking down your shirt um you just keep talking uh, it's very embarrassing you <laughs> did you make a joke about it i or? couldn't i was just so nervous i don't know about um, doing talk shows. I get terrified about just, you know, coming on and talking to people. But so, we're not going to look at your cleavage, okay? Okay, all right, good. All I crossed right. my legs as soon as I sat down, one. too. <laughs> so tell us about your plan, an alien? Is that what it is? Well, she's half alien. It, like Spock was half alien, he was half Vulcan. She's half Betazoid. And so um, I, keep, I keep worrying one day they're going to re replace her by someone who's, you know, half VHS. But... Um, <laughs> <laughs> but she's a Betazoid, yeah. Yeah. Now, what's going on with you and the captain? Well, it's not me and the captain. It's me and Riker, the guy that you saw mm -hmm. there. Um, we're, we're, Somebody we're, was a captain. Did he well, get the Captain Riker? Number one. No, the captain is the bald guy. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> not you two? <laughs> You're not messing around with him? No. Well, not that I know of. It could happen any time. Um, basically, we try to play a relationship. It tends to end up on the cutting room floor because the producers want him to be the stud of the galaxy. So, um, so it, he's got to move around a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he's, he's going to be available, you know, for the, um, the female guest stars, basically. Yeah. How are the Trekkies? You know, the, those Trekkies. How they, was it hard to win them over, or did they immediately love you because... <sighs> Well, they kind of watched the show like this at first. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. uh-huh, show us what you can do kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then they, they decided that we weren't really trying to take anyone's place. And to be honest, as far as I'm concerned, um, I thank you for my job. They watched the show for 25 years in reruns right. and made, you know, the next generation a viable product. And so um, I have nothing but nice things to say about them. Are you going to get movies like the other guys? I think it's a possibility. Yeah, I think um, that's the next step. Please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a handsome man in the audience, and we heard he's with you. Is he a captain? Yeah. No, well, he's my captain. <laughs> he's my number one. That's wow. Michael Lamper. He's my fiance. We're getting married on June the 21st. Good for you. before the wedding you can't have longer hair than me on the wedding day <laughs> are you doing a big wedding yeah or? we're doing the whole thing i've waited a long time so um mm -hmm. i'm gonna do the train and everything yeah wow oh, that's great so now if you had to fill in this sentence my biggest secret desire is to what what would it be my biggest secret desire um i think it would be there's two one is a career thing one is a personal thing the personal thing is to have a baby Mm -hmm. And the career thing is to work with Robert De Niro. Wow. Mm. Mm. If you're watching, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> All right in here, okay? Now, yeah. wait a minute. Okay, she wants a movie. She wants to work with Bob. She wants a baby. <laughs> she she wants a baby. Baby. No, that's fine. That'll be, I'll it, be happy. Is it true that you also want to be a stand-up comic? I tried it. I tried it. Um, the people laughed at my jokes. Thank you. But it was the <laughs> I liked your beta joke a minute ago. Yeah, yeah. That was basically... 
The most scary thing you can do to yourself is to, is to get up and do stand-up comedy. Mm -hmm. So after I tried it, um, I decided that unless someone else was going to write the material and then I would approach it as an actress, I really couldn't do it. I would be too terrified. So maybe to go into comedy as an actress, like a comedic mm -hmm. actress. But I do, I mean, I do... Do, I mean, I do do it at the conventions, mm -hmm. but then they're Star Trek fans and they laugh at everything you say anyway. Well, give us one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give you a, a Star Trek joke. What does um, what does a Klingon woman being call being sworn at, stomped on, and kicked? Foreplay. <laughs> <laughs> God. So the, what was? The, that's I'm still trying to get over the joke. <laughs> so it's a good one. Yeah. Gotta be a trekkie. Oh, so when are you gonna have the baby? Well, well, gotta get married first. I gotta get married, married first. 20, you went the twenty first. Twenty first. Start on the baby the twenty second. But prob probably, probably. <laughs> on the evening oh, of yes, the twenty first. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you wear, the, the, the lingerie that you go to the bridal shower, isn't it, on that wedding right. night? Yeah, we'll be starting on the 21st, honey. <laughs> they have to make me a space suit that expands, though, I think. I know, that's true. How are you going to deal with that, being, being pregnant, alien in space? Half alien. I hmm. don't know how they're going to deal with that. We'll cross that bridge. They'll have to probably just shoot me from the neck up <laughs> for a while. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't say don't that. Don't give any ideas. <laughs> Thanks so much for Thank being you. with us. Really it's enjoyed it. Great meeting you as well. story of losing her baby to kidnappers. Still ahead, get the facts about plastic surgery before you go under the knife.